Okay, we're here showing the body stick antenna mounted on the uh, galvanized steel. It's a painted galvanized steel uh, balcony rail here at uh, ESJ Tower, Puerto Rico. And I have the antenna in a collapsed position against the, uh, the rail right now. And I'm going to show you this is uh, the loading coil with the different taps. Right now it's set with a tap of 40 meters. I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, uh, put this antenna up and then change the uh, bands. Also, you notice here I have a shunt. This is a matching coil that's uh, useful to uh, bring the SWR down about one to one, on, especially on 80 meters. When I have the 80 meter loading coil in there, you see now there's this. Uh, This uh, screw right over here, you loosen it with a uh, Allen wrench. Then you can swivel the antenna. We swivel it up. There. 90 degrees, and there is the antenna now. It's out. And then we just tighten this. The screw here to secure it with that Allen wrench. I wanted to show here the antenna mounting. This is a JAWS uh, clamp uh, that's attached to the galvanized steel balcony rail. This rail is painted so there's no electrical connection between the, uh, the clamp and the metal inside the rail. But uh, what I've done is I've taken uh, of several wraps of aluminum foil, as you can see, uh, placed over that rail, and uh, the, the jaws clamp is, is put right onto the aluminum foil. So it gives uh, a good capacitive coupling to that counterpoise, and it serves very well. I do not use uh, the separate counterpoise wire that comes with the buddy stick. This has worked very, very well for me. You also notice the uh, the matching coil here. This is a shunt matching coil, which I used uh, mostly on 80 meters. It brings down the SWR to one to one. Uh, it also is helpful for 40 meters because without the coil, um, my lowest SWR can get us around 2.5 or so to one. But with the shunt coil, I can bring it down to one to one also. Although it renders the uh, antenna a little bit uh, narrower band, uh, so. Uh, uh, but I do not use a shunt coil on higher frequencies like 10 megahertz, 14, uh, 18, etc. Due to the antenna's low impedance on 7 megahertz and below, a shunt matching coil can be used to lower the SWR to under 2 to 1 on those frequencies. The shunt coil is not needed on 10 megahertz and above. I made this shunt coil by winding 13 turns of 14 gauge enameled copper wire over a 1 inch diameter tube. The ends of the coil are connected between the base of the buddy stick and a screw in a hole on the jaws mount. One spreads or compresses the turns of this coil to achieve the lowest SWR in resonance. Without a shunt coil, this SWR curve of the buddy stick antenna shows an SWR of 2.5 to 1 or greater over the entire 7 MHz band. After I connected the shunt coil, the resonant frequency of the antenna decreased, so I collapsed the end section a few inches to raise the resonance to the center of the 7 MHz band. Spreading the turns of the shunt coil yielded this SWR curve with a minimum SWR 1.2 to 1 at resonance and a 2 to 1 SWR bandwidth of 267 kHz. The Buddy Pole Company sells an optional low band loading coil to use the Buddy Stick on 80 meters, but I homebrewed this loading coil using 76 turns of 18 gauge insulated wire on a 9 inch length of 1 and 3 quarter inch outer diameter PVC pipe. This coil resonates the extra long 9 foot whip on 80 meters, but a larger coil with more turns would be needed to use a standard 6 foot Buddy Pole whip on 80 meters. My buddy stick antenna resonates on 3.5 MHz with the whip extended to 107 inches and on 4 MHz when it is collapsed to 87 inches. This curve without the shunt coil connected shows the SWR in 80 meters is 2.5 to 1 or greater. 
after connecting the shunt coil, compressing its turns, and collapsing the end sections as necessary for resonance. This SWR curve shows a minimum 1.1 to 1 SWR resonance and a 2 to 1 SWR bandwidth of 41 kilohertz. Then we can attach the uh, PL259. Now it's not too hard to change the band, even in this position. We could just reach out here. Here I got this little uh, wander lead. I just change it to 30 meters, and here's a 20 meter tap. That's very easy to do. So uh, very easy to do a quick uh, band change. You notice over here also have a uh, common mode choke, which is just eight turns of the RG58 view through a, um, a couple of uh, two-inch ferrite cores. And there we go. That's uh, the antenna at KP4AMD, portable in Puerto Rico.